Usually when these guys move in, neighbors grumble. All that dust and noise, the roadblocks, what a headache. It's mesmerizing. The Kriegers have a different perspective. We've been crazy about it for weeks. Their apartment right at the tip of the triangle building on the left side of the construction site overlooks all the action at the north end of the viaduct. Patty Krieger has been enjoying the scene so much she posted a bright thank you note in her window so workers could see that someone appreciates them. It's been fun to see such a, a high class operation. WashDOT says crews have demolished more than 10 million pounds of roadway on this section of the viaduct and they're now chewing through what they call the meaty middle, the thick double deck structure that carried cars, trucks and buses for 65 years. Elliot Krieger has been documenting the progress. Will not miss it. <laughs> His photos are some of the last images anyone will see of the old viaduct as it crumbles and is trucked away to fill the defunct Battery Street Tunnel. You really get just enamored by what, what goes on. Even with all this activity, the Kriegers say they've noticed a difference in noise. And it's so much less than the actual traffic that used to appear on the viaduct. New parks and viewpoints will soon usher in a tranquil new chapter along Elliott Bay. But for now, this is pretty cool. It's progress. It's terrific progress. Ted Land, King 5 News.